Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Antoine from High Desert Pythons, and we made it a full year of videos. This is video number 67. So that's 67 videos inside of 365 days, man. I didn't know I had it in me, but apparently I do. So with over 70,000 views, 3,100 subscribers, it was just insane, man. It was a really cool ride. Got to meet a whole bunch of dope people along the way, and being part of this community just means a whole lot to me, and me and the animals both thank you guys all. So uh, for today's episode, I'm going to do a little video montage of my 15 minutes of lame episode for Snakes and the Fat Man, episode number 48. So if you guys didn't get a chance to listen to it yet, you can watch it on here, or you can go to iTunes, click in the description down below. Make sure to subscribe to Snakes and the Fat Man as well. And I appreciate you, Chris Eaton, for Snakes and the Fat Man, for letting me use the audio to do this video. So without further ado, 15 minutes of lame, Snakes and the Fat Man. Let's get it. Now, this fucking dude killed me, man. I, I liked him from the fucking minute that I met him. He's literally doing everything right. He's charming as fuck. He owns a bunch of guns. He's an MMA fighter. And for when a zombie apocalypse comes, he has a fucking compound. Jesus, a fucking compound, man. And shit, did I mention that he looks like Luke Cage? Here's 15 minutes with the superhero Antoine Hood from High Desert Pythons. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Snakes and the Batman proudly brings to you its new breeder segment, 15 Minutes of Lame! Guys, it's Justin at JKR. In the past few years, JKR has become the top source for these amazing animals. So Chris says we need to give back, so we're sponsoring 15 Minutes of Lame to support the new and upcoming breeders. Jump in here, let's hear your ideas. Maybe you can turn your 15 minutes of lame into 20 years of lame, just like JKR did. If you want to be the man, you gotta beat the man. Come get it. 15 minutes of lame! What's up, guys? We got uh, Antoine Hood here from High Desert Pythons. Well, what's up? What's up, Anton? What's going on? What's happening, brother? You know, just uh, finishing up cleaning snake crap, and I'm sitting right here uh, listening to a mix of 90s R&B and uh, Fuzz Huzzy, you know. Nice, (laughs) nice. There we go. Fucking (laughs) mixing Fuzz Huzzy with Word Up by Cameo, you know? Yeah, (laughs) for real. (laughs) It's a vibe right now, man. How you doing, bro? That's good, man. I'm just, you know, I'm living a dream, slowly dying. You you know how it is. Fucking, it's, it's, you know. (laughs) Every day, every day you get one. You know what it is, is um, once you realize that you're on the back nine and you have more time behind you than you do ahead of you, you, you tend not to just give a fuck anymore, you know? <laughs> Pretty Dude, easy. I've been, I've been on the back nine since 25, bro. I mean, come on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah shit, seriously, right? Uh, like, I remember thinking, like, fuck, man, when I'm 40, I'm going to be so old. And now I'm like 47 and I'm like, could today be my last day? Like, you know, <laughs> like theoretically True. fucking, you know, I'm, I'm at the age where your friends are dying, you know, and, and that's like a little weird, you know, because I, I always thought that that was a little too young, you know, but um, sure, man, in this day and age, man, you never know, man, with all this shit going on, man, this COVID crap is knocking people out left and right. Yup. It, it just is what it is, man. So, um, all right, so you got a hard 15 starting right now. Now, you, you know I'm going to ask you the same fucking questions that I do everyone else, but, <laughs> but why you? Like, why you have all these breeders in California? You got Miguel. You got all, all these other fucking guys. You have, you have prehistoric pets. Fucking, why, why buy from you? Well, let's be honest, man. Uh, the world's going to end soon. The apocalypse is coming. And when you buy a fucking snake from me, that gives you an automatic golden ticket to join my compound. So if anybody knows me, you know, I'm a, I'm a martial artist lifetime. I'm a gunsmith, man. I got survival skills. So when you buy a snake from me, that gives you a free pass to come to the compound where you got fucking guns everywhere. You got cypher. 
drones everywhere, man. You got guard dogs. You'll be safe, man. So I'm like the Black Negan from The Walking Dead. You'll be good to go. <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, you, you got any? You got any ODs? All right. <laughs> Fuck! I need a spot. Um, <laughs> Oh, that, 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 that's fucking really one of the best answers that I've ever heard. You know, like fucking, I, I, I'm, I'm the black Negan. Right? <laughs> oh, man. oh, fucking a now what's going on with you? Because you, you, you were like, uh, I don't want to call you an influencer, but you got a fairly big YouTube following, right? Well, um, I kind of piggybacked off all the stuff I was doing because um, I never decided, like before the COVID shit happened, I never wanted to have like a YouTube or a big social media when it came to the snakes because it was just something I had in the small room that I love doing. You know, I just like making projects for myself. But uh, with all my other side businesses going, like going by the wayside, like the MMA, I'm a MMA promoter. I do matchmaking. I manage fighters, amongst other things. So you know, all of that stuff went away. There's like three cities in America right now holding MMA fights. It's like Wichita, Kansas, and fucking <laughs> Knoxville, Tennessee. And I won't be caught dead there. So, um, <laughs> I, you know, I decided to kind of, you know, listen to my own advice with some of my fighters, some of my friends with their businesses, and put my face out there. I got ball python. And, um, you know, right now it's working. You know, it took me like three months to get monetized. Uh, that, like, the, like before the COVID shit happened, I never wanted to have like a YouTube or a big social media when it came. Like, uh, I don't want to call you an influencer, but you got a fairly big YouTube following, right? Well, um, I kind of piggybacked off all the stuff I was doing because um, I never decided like before the COVID shit happened, I never wanted to have like a YouTube or a big social media when it came to the snakes because it was just something I had in the small room that I love doing. You know, I just like making projects for myself. But uh, with all my other side businesses going, like going by the wayside, like the MMA, I'm a MMA promoter. I do matchmaking. I manage fighters, amongst other things. So, you know, all of that stuff went away. There's like three cities in America right now holding MMA fights. It's like Wichita, Kansas and fucking <laughs> Knoxville, Tennessee. And I won't be caught dead there. So, um, <laughs> I, you know, I decided to kind of, you know, listen to my own advice with some of my fighters, some of my friends with their businesses and put my face out there with the ball pythons and um you know right now it's working you know it took me like three months to get monetized uh the instagram is blowing up and uh it's helped a lot with sales so um oh. i just kind of i jumped in feet first and just decided not to be a pussy and finally just get in here and start showing my face and uh is is busted as it is is actually getting some fucking hits so oh, i'm here for it. <laughs> seriously go fucking eat a dick you fucking got monetized in three months I, I've had my channel for like four years. <laughs> I'm nowhere even near it, right? Oh, but man. I mean, but I was annoying with it though. So I mean, like every person I know personally, I took their phone from them, went on, downloaded the YouTube app, made a profile, and subscribed to it. So like 90% of my subscribers I know in person. So and then I make sure they watch my videos too because I call them and I spam them. Like I. Like, I mean, call me an asshole for it, but I mean, I had a goal and I met it right away. So, and that's how I do it, man. And, you know, if you want to get stuff done, especially with social media, you got to be aggressive. So right. that's how I did it. Jesus Christ. Now, what does your collection entail? Like, how many snakes do you have right now? So, um, I'm right at 150 uh, right now. So, I'm so pretty much I put in about five, six hours a day in these snake rooms. I have two separate snake rooms right now because um, I absorbed the collection from a, a buddy of mine that passed away. So um, they're still in quarantine. So I got two separate things and everything has recessive stuff in it. So if it's not, you know, Pine and Clown, Desert Ghost, Enhancer, G-Strike, you know, all the, all the crazy stuff. You know, even even the Hillbilly recessive. I got like three or four uh, hypos oh. floating around. Oh. <laughs> oh. The hillbilly. I got the hillbilly hypos like hiding hiding in here somewhere. So did they, you know. they, uh, they they switched the name of that? I don't know if you heard, but it, but but it's called the 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 WT gene now. You know, <laughs> oh, the man. white trash. Yeah, the white trash. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, do, do you know that I got a warning on Facebook for fucking saying white trash in a post? 
Uh, no, I'm not surprised at all, man. Facebook is the devil, you know, like they're going to censor everyone soon, you know, so it's going to be no curse words at all in about a week. You'll see. White, tr- <laughs> white trash is 90% of my comedic stylings. I don't know what I'm going to do without it. It's really cutting me off at the knees. You know, you can't um, post, you can't post the phrase white people. You get tagged for that. I, so. I guess, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah. Oh my God! Fucking it, 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 you gotta you gotta post it the way the colors post it and put W Y P I P O. The they co- didn't catch on to that. The fucking colors, right? <laughs> they, did, they didn't catch on to that yet. So you know that you know that that's how we do it, and that's how we get away with it. I, I, I never thought the day would come where where I'd be thinking like, oh man, it really sucks to be a white guy. You know, like fucking fucking. I can't oh, catch a cab anymore. You, you know, like. <laughs> it's but, like a bad it's like a bad twilight zone episode it, it, it really is it's, it's, it's like that fucking uh travolta movie uh white man's burden where uh oh yeah <laughs> yeah you took it back with that one yeah, man. Yeah. You, gonna have, yeah. you gonna have these 26 year olds fucking trying to find this damn movie they're gonna be like what the hell is he talking about oh my god now now fucking what um what what age are you? Because black don't crack, so fucking I, I don't know. You, you, what are you? Twenty four, twenty five? I'll be I'll be thirty nine on March twenty first. Thirty nine. Okay, so you're yeah. almost forty. So fucking yeah. fucking that's you know that's getting to be fairly old school. Now, when did you start the uh, the ball python thing? Um, I've had ball python since uh, two thousand five. That's my last year in the Marine Corps. Um, it just happened. Uh, one of my Marines was getting a bag inspection, and then he called me. Was like, "Hey, Corporal, can you watch my snake for me?" And I thought it was like another dick joke because that's all the Marine Corps is, is dick jokes. So um, I, I had it for him and he never asked for the snake back. So I had that snake for a few years and uh, then learned some more about it. And then it wasn't until about 2009 when I saw uh, Brian Barchak's Pinstripe Pied. I called the number that was on the website and was like, hey, man, let me buy that. I got, I'm sure, sure I got some scratch for it. And I thought it was going to say like, you know, five or $600. And he told me it was twelve thousand five hundred. <laughs> so I was like, "Well, I'm not buying that." But um, you know, and I just learned about genetics, you know, watching you know YouTube and shit like that. So I hung up the phone and was like, "You know what? Thanks, man, but I'll make my own." So uh, I've never made a pinstripe pie, and I've had ball pythons <laughs> for fifteen years. <laughs> I mean, I've had stuff with it. I've like made like multiple like inchy pin, you no know, shit like that, but you know, that just that started my passion right there, and um, you know, I've been doing it ever since. And then uh, I've actually been actually selling ball pythons as a like professional breeder since like 2014. So okay, so so you've been doing it for a while now. Yep. So what would you say the money you put into it ballpark? I uh, easy six figures. Like uh, since I've started, uh, easy six figures, and surprisingly, I'm in the red. So like um, this year was actually my worst season because I just had females not go because um, just to move into a big house. And I think that kind of stressed them out and just changing their environment up. So out of the eight clutches I had this year, I still broke 20K in sales. So um, I'm really not mad at that at all. And then just over time, um, like actually coming out of my pocket for stuff, I use my other businesses like my gym to fund my big snake project. So if I see a snake I want online, I go, hey, everybody, we having the flash sale today. You can do like kickboxing <laughs> for a year for like $1,000. And then people will pay that 1000 because, you know, it's a sale and they'll never show up. So it's freaking free money. So that's the hustle I've been doing to get these snakes over the years. <laughs> Shit, man. Did, did, so, do, do you find the uh, the mentality is like the Planet Fitness mentality? Because I've been a member paying 10 bucks a month of Planet Fitness for like six years. And I haven't gone since like 2016. And yeah, I- <laughs> it's, the sale thing. It's, it's a big trick. It's a lot of times it's a big trick. When you see the word sale or special, that kind of triggers some like endorphin in humans' brains and they think they're saving a bunch of money, but you know, like take advantage of it. A lot of people don't, you know? So yeah. people like when I have these like gym specials and people spend like this 500 for one class or a thousand for two up front, They'll do a couple of classes and they won't, they'll like quit doing the warm ups and you never see them again. So it like it doesn't affect my bottom line at all with the business. So it's just a little extra scratch in there, you know. And I put that towards you know something from Billy or fucking Miguel or something like that. So well, well that's what I, I, I saw. You were selling like thirty punching bags, and I'm like, I wonder, yeah. I wonder if he's gonna go buy a Mandarin. Yeah, you know, like fucking. <laughs> 
Oh. Well, yeah, um, no, since, the, since I live in California, everything shut down. So I actually got rid of my commercial building and uh, moved everything to my garage. I got a 40 by 20 garage and uh, that freed up like three grand a month for me. Oh, so nice. um, so once I'm done clearing the, like a lot of this other small debt in the next month or two, all that extra money is going to snakes. So just getting new rack <laughs> systems and expanding things like that. And, you know, it's 100 percent profit now. So I'll take it. And, and what kind of racks <laughs> do you got right now? So um, I have ARS, um, the 50 series rack now with my adults and that's in my main room. And then I have uh, for my babies, I got uh, some sea serpent racks. There we go. Um, that's what yeah, I want to so hear. <laughs> got some sea serpent racks. I got some vision stuff. And then uh, I got a local guy who does all of my other PVC stuff. It's uh, Johnny Stevens from Bougie Racks and Reptiles. So shout out to Johnny. All right. Um, rep the chip or Cocoa Rep, rep, rep the chip all the way. Bro. There you rep, go. Since, Fucking two since, out of three. Since the inception of Reptorship, man, like I was getting it when I was paying like almost thirty dollars a block, and now I go through uh, Miguel and Jesse. I'm actually meeting up with Jesse tomorrow, so he's my uh, Reptorship guy. So you know, I get my ten blocks at a time every couple of weeks, and they hook it up. Fucking awesome, Morph Market. Yep, Morph Market. But um, honestly, I keep it just in case I have like you know smaller stuff. I don't um move right away but all of my sales are through like the first week of my youtube so if i do a uh, a cutting or clutch reveal i get messages right away and those things are already paid for and deposits are put down so oh that's but great. um yeah okay. but yeah but my, my morph market account is strong man i mean like what three years running now so i still pay my monthly fees and it's a dope site so you have hit the trifecta my friend <laughs> Okay. Now, what's going on like this year as far as uh, what are the things you're most excited about as far as throwing the, throwing together? Well, I'm waiting till the springtime when my snake from uh, Billy gets here. Um, it's a male enhancer. It sounds like a dick pill, right? It's a male. <laughs> <laughs> it's a male. I hate when I tell when I started with that. It's a male enhancer that's head clown and uh, impossible head G stripe. So. I'm mixing that in with my uh, Desert Go stuff. But um, some of my bigger projects, I'm trying to prove out my Red Stripe Possible Head Pie with a Clown Pie, and they're actually in the tub together right now. And then um, I got some Mahogany Red Stripe Hurricane Clowns hopefully coming soon. Um, that's the project with that. So I'm going to toy with that stuff and see how it works. But then I got the triple recessive stuff going down the line. So I got, like, you know, Clown Pies bred to Azanthix and, you know, things like that. So just kind of building some, uh, you know, some stuff for the long haul. So you got some pretty high-end shit there, then. Yeah, man, I'm uh, working towards it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> a lot of that, a lot, a lot of gym deals, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, and where in California are you? Uh, like so Palmdale, so I'm, or? In, so I'm in Ridgecrest, which is like a, a hour and twenty uh, north of Palmdale. So I'm like an hour and twenty from Miguel. And uh, 2019 is where we had that big 7.1 earthquake. So my town was the epicenter of that earthquake. So. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jeez, okay. so, uh, and the only reason why I'm still in this town is because I was headed, I was on the way back from Vegas doing that, doing that shit. So if I was here doing a 7.1, it would have been like North Carolina pythons or some shit by now. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, sir, fuck that. No, nah, you don't want to go there either, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking great. Now, um, on your YouTube channel. Uh, what equipment are you using for, uh, for your videos? So, um, I started off, so I have the, uh, iPhone 11 pro max. And, uh, when I was looking around and deciding what I was going to do for the uh, video, people were suggesting like the Canon, but then, um, I know I was like, you know what? I'll go little by little and see how the channel does. And every, you know, couple of videos I'll improve. So, like my first 25 videos, it was just like my iPhone and shitty lighting. And then, when I decided I called it season two, I put LEDs in the room and kind of, you know, worked a little bit with that and kind of up my cin cinematography. So right now, you know, I just got some really good lighting with a good phone and everything's uh, formed, uh, filmed and posted in 4K. So nice. What do you add? Not at that at all. Oh, oh, uh, just uh, iMovie. That's it, man. Just right from my uh, iMac. I'm finding out a lot of people are still just fucking editing an iMovie. That's yep. fucking great, man. And, and, and I don't even, my thumbnails, I don't even use uh, like uh, Final Cut or Adobe Pro. Like, I just use the apps on my phone. I use Superimpose X and Fonto. Mm -hmm. And it does it does everything those expensive stuff do. And I just pay like 15 bucks for a one-time, uh, no, one-time membership. That's fucking awesome. Now, um... Now tell everybody how they could actually get in touch with you because fucking I'm a big uh 
proponent of people buy from the person, not right. not the not the you know not, not the you know they don't buy for the snakes, they buy for the person. So right. you you're fucking coming off as pretty fucking charming, my friend. So I think uh, <laughs> I think you're gonna pull off a lot of shit. But how can people get in touch with you? Dude, high desert pythons everywhere, man. Instagram, Facebook page, uh, you know, on YouTube, obviously. And if you go to Antoine Hood on uh, Facebook, just look for the guy who resembles Luke Cage, apparently. Yes. And uh, I might have a couple of spots to add. I add everybody, but I kind of now I make my Facebook for my uh, customers too. So. Oh, Ooh, oh, you got shit, it in got just it in. in time, <laughs> just in baby. time. <laughs> I don't give a shit where you go, but you can't stay here, man. Holy um, crap, man. Dude, fucking thank you, man. You fucking oh, you're fucking crushing it right now. Um Yeah, I appreciate it, man. <laughs> no, nah, this was a fucking great time, man. So um uh let's see. Uh uh High Desert Pythons. Fucking it, that, that's where you gotta go. Fucking go go check them out. Instagram, YouTube, and uh Facebook and everywhere else. Uh Antoine, thank you so much, man. I fucking appreciate right, you. Uh hey, appreciate it, big dog, man. Thanks for all you do, man. And I'm a, I've been a huge fan since 2016. So I mean my vision back even when it first started was getting on the show. And I'm here, man, I'll be doing it. So thank you, man. You, you made me a better hobbyist and a better keeper just having this show. And I'm sure you do that for thousands of other people too, man. So appreciate you, uh, bro. That, man, God damn it. You might be the the 2021 fucking <laughs> 15 minutes of lame winner. Okay, you might have you might have won already. All right, Jesus oh, Christ, yeah. you fucking rule, man. Th- thank you again, brother, and uh, I'll let you know when this is coming out, and we'll go from there. Good. All right, big dog, keep kicking ass, man. Thank you, brother. You too. All right. <laughs> so, just like last year, this year, the end of the year, the best 15 minutes of lame episode is going to get a full episode on Snakes and the Fat Man. So when voting time comes, make sure you remember how dope this episode was and how I smashed the rest of the competition. <laughs> nah, just kidding. But yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Slap that notification bell so you know every time a new video pops up. And once again, thank you guys for one year of supporting me on my channel. And here's to many more out there, okay? Till next time, deuces.